seconds remaining. And sorry for the bit of a delay, we had some issues. Uh, first of all, the first pick was incorrectly put up and after that we had the... Uh, Reborn being a dick, Jerwing is out of the lobby, having forced us to make another one. So we might have just three games up on the ticket here. Doesn't matter too much, we're, f we're here. We have the tournament ready, this is the Mount Hermann charity tournament for Save the Children, Ravage the Children all around the world, that's where the donations are going through. 75% to, well... The charity, 25% goes to the uh, the winning team. You can go to the panels underneath the Twitch channel, go there and put out uh, well, the money, check or check out uh, Save the Children website, give them some love, and uh, with that, with me is Morality, and we're gonna go through the draft here. We have seen the, some first picks coming out now, really fast, as everybody already kind of set on their, their bands. So we can see Nayo with Shadow Fiend here, and no Tiny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have that Tiny block pick, pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah. That's the one problem if you have uh, the first pick. Yeah. And you pick up an IO, like. People just pick up a tiny down for just because they can. It's just a Because, you know, yeah. you don't want the tiny playing together with the IO. The combo is just too well known and it's too powerful. You really don't want to play against it. What I'm surprised, though, is. I'm actually not surprised at anything right now. It's pretty standard, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's. Yeah, that's uh, like the, the, just the the Darkshire Tiny combination is pretty strong. You know, vacuum into toss with uh, Avalanche. It's a pretty obvious one. As well as this is just something that uh, yeah, they all, they pretty much always draft on the side of Hell United, Darkshire Spear Break or a Darkshire uh, NS combination. I mean, really, it's all strong. It's the Darkshire coming back into favor thanks to the team fight, the Tiny with the cleave and the Darkshire vacuum, and then the Spear Breaker just to make sure that they have a bit more. Presence on the on Ten the global scale of the map, but IO as well. I mean, the IO doesn't have too much health at the beginning of the Five game. You can even later on. Break it. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, IO is strength, but it all, he always feels so so weak because he doesn't have the strongest of gains as well. It's not just overall pretty low uh, health pool and like no armor at all. Yeah, so basically, use the spirit break also as a dedicated just like IO destroyer. <laughs> yes. Maybe in the Shadow Fiend destroy, it's like, you can really easily kill a Shadow Fiend as a Spirit Breaker in the early game. Not in the late game, but in the early game. Yeah, mm -hmm. But that also, especially when you have the Darkseer there as well, because you're going to be running as a dual offlane, and the Darkseer yeah. is going to be with the Spirit Breaker, who's going to get the Iron Shell, and you go mid. But when the Darkseer is level 3 and the Spirit Breaker is level 2, it's always a guaranteed kill pretty much on the Shadow Fiend. Especially, let's say, if Tanya is middle. You just need an, an Avalanche, or even just a random toss to come out, and you should be able to kill him off. So for yeah, LC, it's, it's important to get the wards out, like, fast. Yeah. It's also good that they can pick the Bane here, it's good some lane control, so on the safe, if they put them on the safe lane, they can control the off lane a bit better, if they put them on the mid lane, they can help out the Shadow Fiend a bit. Unfortunately, I can't tell right now who's going to be going mid, I don't think they have picked them mid yet. I think it's Tiny. Could be Tiny, could be Tiny. Is this going to put up Tiny against Shadow Fiend? He has, uh, like, for the first levels, he's... he's Pretty much a stronger Shadow Fiend. If Shadow Fiend tries to right click him, you just walk up there as a Titan and give him one punch back for every two hits he does. And Shadow Fiend can't really stay close enough. He goes for raises level one, he's gonna give up getting Necromancy, uh, necromancy stack at level one. So that's also prob troublesome. And once Tiny gets some levels, he's able to at least Avalanche toss the, uh, the creep wave and just keep it going back to Shadow Fiend. And then Shadow Fiend has to raise. Like, you have a pretty even equilibrium there as long as uh, you have your mana up. Both sides. Of course, disregarding the Bane, I mean, the Bane could always go mid and annoy the Tiny. Happen. Yeah, we'll see what they're gonna do, because where are they gonna run the Ayo? Like, usually when you have an Ayo, you're gonna go for dual lanes. Yeah. That means that you need backing to... up some kind of carry. To combo in with someone. Ayo yeah. Alchemist is a combo I've heard of. Done yeah. as well. Ayo Alchemist, Ayo... Pretty much anything goes, even Ayo Shadow Fiend is okay. Like, you don't really need to, you know, play in with the Tiny all the time. Like, there, there are different ways to do it. You can just also pick an IO for, you know, Radiant it being an IO. Back. Like, why not? An IO. I mean, get a bottle up in and he's basically a medic. Yeah, that's essentially behind it as well as having this global relocate to help out your teammates or to save them. Like, that's all there is. He's like the suicide savior. Like, you know, if it goes great, awesome. You know, you save someone and then you still die in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, saving your carry is always great, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, talk about the Beastmaster. I mean, he really, he really hasn't been seen much in later days. Last meta, of course, he was like one of the top picks. Now, no, not you, much. See, you see him coming back. For like, like, let's say an OG. When you have like a strong Beastmaster picker, you get it up. Especially with the IO, it's just about getting a roar out and then just relocating it. Same with the Bane. 
It's just having these setups for the IO as well as just the global vision with the Hawk. You know, it's to counter out the Spirit yeah. Breaker as well as just a setup ganks. Counter out the Spirit Breaker, I mean... Thing is, he's going to be put on the off lane. Spirit Break will most likely be on the enemy off lane. Okay, so that basically probably disregards your comment about Tiny being mid, unless they put the Tinker safe lane against the Beastmaster. I think it's going to be the. Uh... Yeah, it's going to be Tinker mid, like for sure. Like it's an HWA classic. That was not uh, really the okay. best meta at the moment to run. No, like, I'm <laughs> run thinking, we have not really seen a Tinker, like, in any... Five seconds no, remaining. I can't think of any game right now. Yeah, I've seen, seen him, like, one tinker. time, like, go... Or maybe it was a pub I was playing, I don't Reserve know. Like, time. you just don't see him too often. And you, <laughs> like, you more see it, like, I would... I'm more... I'm actually not surprised his hair, like, that they pick it up. I almost forgot it's actually pretty normal for them. Especially with their kind of like global setup here with the, the A already and the Spear Breaker. Spear Breaker, yeah. If you get like Beauty's uh, number two on the Tinker, you can just go on the Spear Breaker and go with him. He's still on the ride. Interesting, just global everywhere. Yeah, and then the Conspiracy are gonna have a. They're gonna be hard pressed to counter that. Unless well, unless they have, they have the IO for the Ten global. Seconds. And they have the Beast Monster, they have the Bane, like they have, they have things against the Tinker. Problem is, what happens if they global in? into one side of the map and blow on the other side. It's going to be hard for them to move. They're going to be outmaneuvered a lot by Hehe he, if Hehe he play it well. Because it's not only the Tinker they have to watch out for, they have to watch out for the Spirit Break and the AA as well. And then there's Tiny still, and then there's Darks here. At the same time for Lonely Conspiracy, like if they go for a gank and they find anybody on his own, he's dead. Oh yeah, that's you can just You can just set it up with one person. The only person who doesn't have a setup for an IO plus one relocate is essentially the Razor. Like, even Shadow Fiend is fine, so you just burst a lot of damage and then you can still come in. Oh, but the Razor can be useful. Yeah, for sure. As... I think like, it's gonna be like an IO Razor combination somehow, somewhere. Yeah, so zap the, uh, zap the damage, get the overcharge, do a lot of damage. Yeah, kinda like that. And then later stages go for the Shadow Fiend. Maybe it's gonna be probably like early game, like Shadow Fiend IO, mid game, IO Razor, and then late game back to the Shadow Fiend. It would be like the most logical way to do it. So let's just consider. I'm gonna say Hehe has more in terms of team fight, but LC has a lot more in terms of single target. Yeah, it's by, by them is all about the single targets as well. It's just having this raise it to sap away all the damage from the tiny. Or yeah. spear breaker coming in. Like that's really what. That's the two targets. The one good thing that they have on the side on. Uh, Roar Roar about <laughs> gently. <laughs> gently down the stream, I guess. So, HWO has to be reported here, I think, uh, I think we have of to course. talk, I have to talk to Pazi about him using the works. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the Save the, this is a tournament for Save the Children here, it's called the Mount Hermon Charity Tournament. And here they are making one of their second two aggressive moves around the uh, Radiant Jungle here. They're not going to be able to spot out anybody, they didn't even smoke in anyway, so there are really any resources lost. Iron Shells has been leveled. Maybe you're trying to force out some sentry ward usage, well, where, whatever you want to do that for, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it, it's actually like a pretty common play to make. Just go to the enemy jungle, pretend like you drop wards to block off camps and then have them deward it. Still money stolen away from the uh, enemy sports. Well, yeah. I'll see how we anticipate that and I'll waiting around the top room. DC from TS. Okay then. Oh, which crashed. <laughs> Yes, oh, crashed. You are. <laughs> Didn't even notice. <laughs> well, good job, uh, Lonely Conspiracy. They're not able to keep up their, uh, their TS for now. So okay, it seems to be a uh, backup. So we're gonna go again. Hang on. Let's just. Let's just. This. This is not the lanes we were expecting. I think. Were you expecting the race bit? I mean, I was semi expecting them. No, I was still thinking. Uh, it's fine. They're gonna nightmare up. Oh, he's gonna be. He's in a little bit of a troublesome uh, spot here. They're gonna be bullet blocked up. As well from uh, Solus, Solo needs to get the kill here as well, and he gets it. It's gonna be his bottle now. So some early uh, items are coming now up. Now they're going right after key Chimera. Key. Yeah, Chimera. He has to run. Their boar slow is there. They don't have an uh, orb up on Kefka, so he's trying to get in front of him. But Chimera's like, hey, no. 
And now they're gonna get oh. another slow, but yeah, he's just gonna, just gonna eat through the trees. As uh, extra music. Visa. He's there. And here comes Tinker. Tinker safe lane. So they just want to secure an early boots on HBA then. Yeah, basically get his boots up early, make sure he can start becoming a force we reckoned with. Just in case. What else needs doing? He's just being annoying to be here. That's how you play dogs here, I guess. Uh, Although usually you put the ion shell on the creeps. Nah, this is just to to deal with my back. You can have a, a like about three ion shells at one time with the uh, previous patches. So, really so HBI like, picks oh, up the kill. Yeah. They're gonna get maybe KFK here as well. They need a bit more damage. They need to slow him down. They're gonna have a charge in another two seconds, and the rackets from HBI are enough to kill him off here, and they're gonna get the uh, the boar here as well. At the same time, Tiny does die mid. Half health already as when we last saw him. Uh, Razor just, you know, walking up to him and hitting him a bit. There's not much Tiny can really do at this case because, uh, I mean, he's having all his damage stolen from him. It was kind of like a spice, uh, expecting like a Bane plus, uh, plus Razor lane just because you can just put Silent Link on someone and Nightmare him up and you just get free damage. Damage and you, it's really easy to kill someone at that point. Yeah. Gonna go after uh, oh, Viper here, speed. and he's not able to get off the Nightmare in time. They're gonna keep him following him. The Iron Shell has come out. It's level 2 already, and this uh, Brain Step is not doing enough. 17%. Baby Knight. Yeah, it's not real at the moment. Uh, Baby Knight can't really get in a long range range uh, race here as <laughs> the creeps are blocking his path. He denies that creep for his troubles. Yeah, this lane is not going so well for LC. That's a... This safe lane is not going too well. I mean, of course, uh, Shadow Bean has souls, so it's okay. But uh, they it's are. It's all on the spear break. Like he's just gonna make, try and make as much space as possible for uh, for this side of here. Like they really need to just. He's just gonna make them like, their lives hell up because they're really easy to kill in the other game. Bane is. I mean, he has more health than Baby. You know, you have to. You just have to consider that the Bane has more health than the Shadow Bean. Well, that's and even that's more armor. I mean, that's usual on supports, but it's like that well, means that's, that's also because it's a bane. Bane has just yeah. great stats gain as well. One of the strongest supports in that sense. They're really waiting to go here. But it's gamer. like they can still kill him really easily as well as the Shadow Fiend. I is level two brain step now, so it's going to be a bit harder. Yeah, I guess. Like they really, I mean, if they that. just get the bane, they nice. can get uh, the Shadow Fiend most likely as well. Depending on how many of the raises hit. If one race hits, it's, they can still go for him. If two aces raises it, they should just settle down for the one kill. So here we go, Kimura charging right in again. Double eye on shell here. This is yeah, gonna they, they were waiting for 100 mana on the Spear Breaker. They're gonna search after him with Nihis. The burn is there, and I don't think Baby Knight can survive from this. You're just gonna chase him down. He doesn't have the movement speed. He's gonna bottle up Ooh. though. And now, who oh, they're just gonna rotate in the IO here. That will make sure that he stays alive with the bottle charges there. Now they're gonna try and turn this run on Kimura. They need to get one more hit in from someone. There they go. They get it in. The turnaround. The turnaround was real. Yeah, Sona picking up the kill there. Nice rotation in from him, making sure that they can actually get the kill there. Without the rotation, one... they would have lost him. That was one heck of a tether. Max range. Yeah, but I mean. So yeah, the bottle, early bottle picked up on IO. I mean, that's what you do as an IO. Don't pick up any items, I guess, and just go for the bottle. Yeah, that's pretty. That's just a common build on him, though. They're gonna oh look dear. for something on these here. He's putting in some uh, some pre damage before the nightmare comes out. They're gonna start off with the bracelet, but they don't even need the nightmare now anymore. They're gonna give it to uh, Baby Knight to get some more souls going his way, as well as some extra gold for him. Always nice to have. Always nice to have. So at least this lane is starting to look a bit better for the side of LC. Meanwhile, Tiny is not having the best time mid either. No. He is. He's just getting all his damage stolen. JRP's <laughs> like, hey, it's a tier one tower. I don't care too much. Just gonna keep on walking through it. We'll custom his last tango. Ah oh, well, he's got treads, but doesn't switch them through the tango. Anyway, Kimura now charging over. And is just waiting. Yeah, they can't really run into him when he has plus 168 damage. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's a mistake. Hurt. It's just an all over mistake to go for that. At least the top safe lane is going well. They've already got the boots to speed up. <laughs> Not significant, but they have. But uh, Tinker has 700 gold saved up, so. Getting closer, getting closer, about 1.2k off his people's travel. And once those come out, this game should be some change. And Geshe Man is not really having the fun of stuff times here. <laughs> He's really just forced to use his bottle and then his abilities to just farm up the lane as expected against the raising. 
Yeah, they're probably going to rotate him in to the safe lane as soon as his boots. I'm a bit wondering though, like, who are they going to pick up the uh, the mecha on? Is it going to be on the shadow feet or is it going to be on the mid razor? So Baby Knight is being uh, charged up, but they don't really have enough follow up here. Skimra, oh, they just need a bit more damage. Or he needs to get in range here with the uh, range. Ooh, the it seems they're just going to go for the ears here. Ow, the damage, the burst. Yeah, the brains have just a whole lot of damage. As well as just the raise is level 3. Like, it's not really something you can just walk into and be like, Oh, no, no, I'm fine. But somewhere I can understand it. Like, it's not something that is commonly run with a Darkseer. As a Darkseer, you tend to not be against a Shadow Fiend. Yeah, oh, he's, just, really. uh, he's just underestimating the damage coming out from him. You should know it from the Bane, though. That's a pretty common hero to play against when you're an offlane player. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, you should know that he does deal a, sh a, a huge amount of damage. You don't really want to go up against that. The fact that he was just ballsily walking up against the Shadow Fiend here. I mean, you know what Shadow Fiend can do. You know his burst. You know he's pretty high level already. I'm also giving his life to save the Spear Breaker. How is that ever, ever worth it? Oh, like, Spear Breaker is position spirit. 4 and he is his position 3. He has more net worth, so have the priority in this case just let the spirit breaker die um because of more farms to give some more xp for yourself yeah, and now look he's doing it again he's going like me is this is just like you're doing it once okay you know like shit can happen doing it twice well that's a shame on you here yeah you was expecting the spirit break to come in before you die that's not gonna happen there too much hey so taking a lot of damage on top here and the rotation in from jellope is gonna be successful as they pick him up they had to use the raw for it of course to set it up but it was fine but okay continue <laughs> no it's fine i was just talking about the uh, port from kimra and as uh Bichis was completely mistiming the miss spirit Drake charger i assume even then walking into that is just, the burst is too high for you to just randomly walk into a shadow bean bane combo uh, that, that, that doesn't work out. This is not the best play to make here. Oh no, they're going up against AA. Oh, they need to put a bit more damage in there and they're gonna get it. He was on zero mode one second but got killed. This will pretty much secure them the tier one here. I, are they really gonna run in here from ahead? They do have a lot of damage coming out of hay in terms of burst Hi, damage, Kimra. but Kimra's not, not gonna get, go through here. Yeah, got two awesome against three. The situation is not something you want, especially with a Beastmaster level six and a Razor level seven. Whereas Tinker, I mean, he's level six, but Kimura is only level four. How are you supposed to fight against this exactly? Well, gosh, that monster does have a invisibility rune here, so he might just set up something there. What surge is this? That would be the best way to do it. Yeah, probably. At least he's got some space to farm now, but uh, left yeah. behind by the Brazer. Uh, it's kind of lucky that uh, there's no people in Bane, that would annoy him a bit more. Went for the 3-2 build. So, uh, did the work of cooldown? Ah, yeah, Kimura. this. So, they, <laughs> they did cost HWA again, and now Kimura is also going to be the next one to follow there. They have 110 damage, they want to they want to kill uh, this AA, and they're going to get it as well. What is Nihis doing? He's charging him there again! He, what? what? He's not going to get a kill. Gav guy is like, what? And hey, they're done! Dishing <laughs> out at 8 and a half minutes in, maybe Gashia gonna get a double kill. No. Okay, they're not... Okay. I think Mihis is salty about something. I just have a sneaky suspicion because they were like... EG, don't mind him. Yeah, this is uh... There is uh, some salt going on here. Yeah. I've... I've had some inside information from uh, from Quepe. I know that DS sometimes can just go do things against uh, what what the team has decided to go for, like the the build. Yeah, you know, it really does feel like that. I mean, he just TP'd in versus three people there, and what was his plan? What was his goal there? Was my question. I guess he wanted to get a return kill. Maybe he expected Gesha to be there early. Like if Gesha, if they just timed it correctly with Gesha being there on the same time, they could have easily picked up a double kill without him dying. Yeah, she still was able to get in and get a double kill, but, you know. I mean, yeah. Really. Weird decision making, weird decision making. As a team, you want to have, like, someone that's calling the shots. And they smoke up on top lane. And the, they, have, they have the Fiend script, they have the uh, War as well, and there is a relocate up to get the Shadow Fiend in. They want to go for HBA, it would be the prime target here, but uh, it seems they're just going to go and check out the jungle. If they can just keep him down even further, he's not gonna get any ball time boots. For safe lane, think he's already pretty far off the mark right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, Save 19 honest, you should have it at 10 minutes, at yeah, latest. He's died three times already. He's got two kills, but he's already died three times, so... Oh dear, there goes Kimbra. Yeah, they're just gonna go for him, Fiend scrape him up and kill him there. Not Nothing for him to, to really do, it was nice rotation in, they actually went to the entire jungle of the, of the dire side, so... And why not pick up a tower while you're right there? Yeah, why I mean, not? What's, what is really stopping you? Well, in the end, nothing really is. Yes. Yeah, I'm it's gonna where, be... where is the tire? The, the they're gonna relocate on, on bottom here. They wanna say Baby Knight, and they are able to do so for now. They're gonna bottle and earn him up. He's gonna get pretty much uh, to full health pretty soon as Jellipree is just rushing him forward. He needs to get some damage stolen here. He will finally do it. He will just be relocated back before the Cold Feet can proc. But with the. Oh, this Rackham does do enough damage. But the Brace oh. does a lot, they need... Oh, the, we're too late on the race there, they're gonna get everybody in for now. Yeah, this race was still gets it from before. We'll go through, just hits the forest. And they throw in HWA and he's in the middle of all of them, but they just nightmare him. But like, dude, we need to run. Fuck this shit. As Kimra just goes and it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna die here anyway. <laughs> due to the pure damage coming out of Beaver. HWA, he can't get out of the laser hit. He's just looking for soul in here. But at the moment, he's not really... Oh, you can see him now, but yeah, they're not gonna get him. Rockets, rockets, rockets. No, it will not use. Yes, there we go. That yeah, it goes through and it doesn't find the kill with Sol, and it's just barely enough HP here. You know what I just noticed? Uh, if you want, if you mind looking towards the Dire Fountain quickly, I think we have some issues within LC's ranks. No, sorry, Hehe's ranks. Uh, it seems like News is not here anymore. Is he yeah, sending like... still there all the time? Yes. Why? Yeah. Okay, he's okay, gonna... no, okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, okay, he's just gonna put out some fun. Maybe he went to the toilet or something, was like, ah, so I've got to take a break. <laughs> this was too much, I need to need to reset a bit. Oh, there he goes, right back into the... Uh, and the... Kefka ah, goes in here, they're gonna get to relocate in as well, but it's just Yaya, but... <laughs> what he gets on his TP? And he's at... Oh, his TP is short, I mean, so... Or did this creep die or something? Like... Oh, like... no, feet grip. <laughs> ah, that's not good at all. I don't know what Gashamosa was doing there. He was walking all on his own. Uh, versus yeah. a Bane. I, I don't. Why would you walk into the enemy jungle? Is my question. Yeah, it seem, seems like right now they are a little bit lost on what to do, and LC are like, you know, we have very very clear clear game plan. Like we can set up a lot of kills. He just gets off the wall, wall, but he has no he's no vacuum. Like the wall connected on him, but that's really about all there is to say about it. Yes, like if he had a vacuum or something, he could maybe do something. And here comes LC, the entirety of LC, yep, that's all Yeah, and with a DD, double kill for baby. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, at the moment, hey, they're about 7.5k gold behind. It's gonna be a bit more once the, all the gold kicks in there. And yeah, they're just running in one by one by one. Although they have, like, all their ultimates up, they have VOTs right now as well in HWA. So they, they might... They, they do have some, like, turn potential here. Like, a late game Tiny as well as a late game Tinker are probably one of the worst heroes to ever deal with. Just being... Well, how do you farm this is the question. It's like, right now, uh, they have, no, yeah. have complete map control. They have wards in really strategic positions all over the map. And they can even was... throw in some more Hawks as well. So. Yeah, so how is Hehe gonna get out of their own spawn, let alone their, like, into their jungle? Well, the good thing is that they have, like their high ground is pretty strong if they have all their abilities. The thing is, they are missing levels on Nihis, who is still level 6. Is he the lowest level here, maybe? Yeah, he's one of the yes. lowest levels. No, he's level 7 now, so it's fine. <laughs> still low. He needs a lot more points in his uh, in his vacuum. And he needs a day set. Oh, and look at this again. Once again, Jellipy and Solon on their own. What is... And Nihis has to run away here, but he yeah, will die. He can fight against this. HWA, like he's there, but that really that's all he can say <laughs> and all he can do. Really, at this point, Nihis is just a liability. He's building up towards the mech. Yeah, at least he's still doing that, but he doesn't even have if his boots. The real okay now comes out on bottom. They want to go for something here. They go in with the fiend script onto Kimra. They need to stop this, but they're not able to do so. There's not going to be a raw either, but they will at least pick up two kills for now. They're going to get a turbo on here maybe as well. Rackham is not completely on the mark as. Uh, he was able to run away for them for now, and this and seems to be the real GG as HW has been the one to call it. Not yeah. even breaking into high ground. Yeah, they don't need to. Like this, this yeah. game just feels lost. As a think you need to have map control. Like the whole lineup of hey, it's about global, having control and going from there. Like yeah, if you don't have the best of starts, like you're still okay. 
but like this, no. No, this is this is. I mean, they had they had a decent start. We have to we have to give them that. I mean, other than the tiny mid lane just completely falling apart on them, they had a decent start. I mean, the top lane was doing well, and the bot lane was doing well. But then then came the then came the rotations, then came the ganks, and it all fell apart after that. He is walking into some situations where he really shouldn't have walked into. And, and with that said, he's not even the most dead on his team in Silk Kimura. But I don't really think it was his his mistake. Like he, he he tried to make some plays in the beginning though. Yeah, you gotta give him that. Yeah. Well with all of that said, we're gonna go into the break. We'll be right back with game two between London Conspiracy and Hair United.